Yo, it's your boy Ado. What is going on then, guys? We have got another banging video for you guys. This is my custom tactics tutorial. Look underneath the camera. We got 24 wins last week in league. We missed out on Elite 2 by one game against an extremely good player. He was verified. So, yeah, not too disappointed with that. Ill. Wanted to get Elite 2. It don't mean much because you only get 30k more. They should actually change that because getting Elite 2 is quite difficult. But, anyways, we got Elite 3. I have got my red picks. I've got my ultimate. It was the most hard week in league, the most sweaty one. And we managed to smash it. So, we got 24 wins we've got our red picks we've got our ultimate team of the season tradable pack all of that good stuff to open on stream after this if you want to watch us play our next weekend league games because this was from the 24 wins was from the last weekend league we haven't played any games yet then join us on stream the link is down below so first of all i want to talk about my team quickly show you some highlights and show you the tactics so you can either skip the video or whatever but drop a like subscribe to our channel i appreciate the support a lot so here's our team it's a road to glory if you know me i don't put no money of this game no money on this game our two strikers we start with a 4-4-2 is Dembele and Nani absolutely disgusting I hope you done Dembele five star five star five star five star Vinicius is too expensive at the moment unless we get a team in the season Ronaldo or Mbappe you never know tradables so we've got Paqueta quite underrated in center mid with Renato Sanchez which is nasty and then Coutinho and Bamba was out wide our Carlos Alberto was centre back with Marquinhos, who was a, a red pick anyway. I could get 100 chem, I know, if I change a goalkeeper, but Edison is unbelievable, so it wasn't really worth it. There's my bench and reserves, but yeah, I really recommend trying these players out, man. They're, they're so fun to use. I love five star skills. That's kind of the reason I have some, some of these players which are so similar. But yeah, let's get into some of the highlights now. These are the highlights. We're going to show you some of them from last weekend league. And obviously, I always recommend that you try different formations out for when you're losing, winning, stuff like that, because sometimes different formations work better against other people. For example, the 4-4-2 I'm using, and it works pretty good against the 4-3-1-2, which is quite narrow. And everyone seems to be using that at the moment. I don't know, it's trending, it's in fashion or whatever. But yeah, you get the point. So you don't have to use every formation that I have for ultra attacking, but take what you want from it. But I just recommend that you give it a go because it's really solid. The most important thing is that the 4-4-2, the tactics that the way that I've got it set up is defensively sound. It's really structured and solid. And then from there, it's up to how good you are at the game with attacking. Can you break down your opponent? Because you know you can defend well with it. So that's kind of the way we went with it. And what an unbelievable goal there. But also on Dembele, it was just so fun destroying people with Nani and Dembele up front. I mean, honestly, I love five star skills it, it makes this game so much more enjoyable so give them a go but yeah we got the ball with Coutinho he was our left mid in this formation I believe got the ball with Dembele a little bit lucky there and finesse shot goal with Nani on his left foot but yeah five star weak foot on both of those players there here how can we defend Ronaldo Sanchez I think that was straight in his face him and Paqueta were just bossing midfield we got the ball with Dembele a lot of left stick dribbling on his left foot Finesse shot goal, so easy, and that, that won us that game there. Now we're into the next match. We're 20 to 4 at this point. Can we defend? Yes, we can. So we was we start off with four depth, which isn't very deep. Some people play one depth, it's not as high as eight depth, obviously, so it's not extremely attacking. But it's I feel like it's four or five depth is the perfect balance, in my opinion. Once you're in the box, switch to your actual defenders. Other than that, you can just run around with your midfielders, like everyone says, it's quite smitty. But yeah, look on the radar. Our left mid is in acres of space. Coutinho and now watch the run up front through ball there I probably should have ball rolled the goalkeeper and then just scored but we kind of mess up our attack but look how quick we managed to counter attack the guy from defense to attack so that just shows how well it works out now we've got the ball we're obviously in extra time it's 3-3 free free. it's a really sweaty game our super subs Neres drag back beautiful goal so let's show you the tactics now okay so I've got different variations like I said take what you want from it but in game via the d-pad I go left left to defensive so that's what I actually start with so I use the starting formation purely for chemistry purposes if you did not know so I'll just show you all of them one by one we'll start from the ultra defensive I don't really use this one too often to be honest with you I feel like when I go ultra defensive I end up losing but yeah I have a stick with the defensive if you want to hold on or maybe change this one up but yeah it does work good so balance three three possession five three and then one one for that is up to you the formation is the nastiest the sweatiest the five three two obviously when you do subs late on as well if i was to use this it'd probably be around the 85th minute maybe the 80th minute depending on how the game goes you obviously can still attack with this as well it's not like you're just stuck in your box so you've got every defender on stay back while attacking we have got the main center mid on balance cover center 
that should actually be on stay back cover center so that was clearly messed up so yeah all three center mids on stay back cover center which is horrible yes i know it is and then both strikers on stay central so that's how we've got that but now this is the this is the tactics that that got me elite essentially so set your 442 the normal variation not the super defensive one right so get that set so this is why i actually start with in game balance 5-4 maybe 5 depth if you want to go a little bit more but it worked good for me. Even though my defenders are pretty much got 95 plus pace, they can still get out of pace by like Sancho and Mbappe. This is why I recommend that you have like four depth, but it's up to you. Balance five, five corners and free kicks up to you. I always go short if you know me, if you've ever watched me play. So this is how we lined up. We've got Coutinho cuts inside for the finesse shots. Bamba shoots across goal, but they can both play anywhere. Paqueta and Renato in the center mid positions and Nani and Dembele up front. So that is that. Our instructions, the fullbacks on stay back, both center mids on stay back cover center. And surprisingly, we have got the left mid and the right mid on comeback on defense. The reason for this is just for when you're defending, you want them to help out a little bit more, support you a little bit more. And then just remember, when you have got the ball, they are not going to be coming back on defense. That is only when you are not with possession. So it's not going to affect you when you are attacking. They can get forward quick enough. The stamina at this game and their pace in this stage of the game is going to be enough. So getting box across and getting behind, that just allows them to basically make more dashing runs and obviously interchange with the strikers and get in better areas to try and score goals and stuff like that. They won't just stay as a wing guard. They'll cut inside, maybe be a striker sometimes, stuff like that. And if you're triggering the runs all the time, it will help you out a lot. Both strikers getting behind, trigger runs always anyway. For our attacking tactics, tactics so when we're like one goal down something like that maybe at half time we're one goal down maybe even two goals down just switch to this it's not super offensive so it's the same formation the 442 press on heavy touch five width and then the depth is up to seven so that we have the automatic offside trap allows us to press a little bit more try and get the ball back quicker basically offensive style balance we don't rock with the fast build up because it's just too attacking you'll end up losing by a lot more that's for our ultra attacking tactics the width is five and then players in boxes six corners and free kicks completely up to you set your formation right instructions this is where it gets good fullbacks stay back while attacking both center mids cover center the one that can shoot a little bit better for me is paqueta on balance cover center and then the left mid and right mid balance get behind get muscle cross and then both strikers you can either have them on stay central or balance or getting behind or mix it doesn't make a huge difference like i said always trigger your runs that's the most important thing anyway so it doesn't really matter ultra attacking four three one two really good honestly this one works really well for me so we've got press off the possession loss five width eight depth fast build up five width and then seven plays in box two two for that one up to you four three one two set that and then we have got our fullbacks on stay back because end of the day, if we're three goals down, we don't want to end up 10 goals down. We want to get back in the game. We don't want to be stupid. You know, it's about taking a certain amount of risks. Our centre mid, the main one or the CDM, is stay back cover centre. The one next to him, the one that can defend, but a bit more box to box, balance cover centre. And then the one that can attack. Should probably have like an Atal there. A Atal Goretzka will be perfect. Don't get, get forward cover centre. At this stage, I'll probably do subs anyway, so... I'll have someone else here, for example. And then we've got stay forward for the camp, both strikers on mix and balance. So that is all of the tactics that I've done. I pressed save changes because my ultra defensive was wrong, as you saw the center mid. But yeah, that, that kind of proved the point. I don't use that one that much. The defensive is the main one I want you guys to give a go. But yeah, let me know how you get on with it. Hopefully, I see you guys on the Twitch stream. You will not regret it if you join us. Like I said, I have got the remote control on the screen. You can see everything that we are pressing when we are playing. Drop a like, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. It's been your boy. At least one more thing to say. Safe.